everybody, it's Jana with Jana Sweets. Thank you for joining me here today. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the Midwest, and I appreciate you coming to visit. I am bringing you my monthly color challenge card, and this month we are going to use the colors Smoky Slate, Bermuda Bay, Petal Pink, and Black. And I wanted to continue with the super adorable stamp set, Snailed It. Um, my Facebook this week, I used this the paper with the little snails on it. And I talked about how much I loved it. And I'm going to make this super adorable card using those colors. So if you'd like to participate in my color challenge, please go to the link below in my Facebook group um, and participate. I give out a monthly uh, challenge prize for anyone that um, drawing for out of those who participate during the month. Um, I want to show you the now available little mini trimmer. So we have the regular, not trimmer, uh, machine. We have the regular size machine, but now there is a cute little mini version. Isn't it adorable? So it's really easy to pick up, and as you can tell, it's um, it is about three and a half inches wide, and it comes with all these little plates, and they're numbered. So um, it tells you the pictures on the plates. To use so you get two cutting plates with it and then of course the bottom plate and then you have um, embossing and um, uh, well two different embossing ones because there's a uh, 3d embossing and then regular embossing so but I want to show make I need to cut one thing out for our, th our card so I'm going to use my little hippo die here and cut out so you just put the, the white plate down and a cutting plate and then you just run it through I do find that you need to uh, kind of hold on to it because it is a tight fit but it's very easy I just boom comes right out it's very very smooth Excuse me. All right, so let's get stamping. We are going to start by stamping. All right, let's get to stamping. So first we're gonna take our stamp and this has a bunch of writing on the stamp. <clears throat> so we're going to take a post-it and cover up the verbiage, okay? And then, so I'm just going to kind of push my post, well, try to push my post-it. And give a good smush. And then, I always keep some baby wipes handy so that way I can get the edges. I don't want that to get on my... And then make sure I didn't get any there. Alright. And then, <clears throat> this is another hippo die. And actually this one. So it was like this. And then I just took that part through my trimmer. Because I, I want that straight edge. So now my little snail is going to go right there. And right is cute. Okay. Now I'm going to take the light petal pink marker. My blend marker and I'm going to do the bottom part of my snail and sometimes the bullet works a little bit better especially in these tight fits and then I'm going to take the dark and just do the bottom part of my snail like that then I'm going to take the light 
smoke the slate and color the shell. And then I'm going to take the dark and just do the bottom and the little curve here. Then I'm going to take my light Bermuda and do my snail's eyeballs and little heart. And that is my coloring. Now, I've already stamped the little um, bubble, speech bubble, on some petal pink cardstock. So we just need to stamp the sentiment. And I kind of want it to go like that. So I'm going to angle it that way. And then stamp it so it's kind of straight. All right, we can put our card together. I have a four and a quarter by 11 piece of Bermuda. Then I have a four by five and a quarter black. Then I have a three and three quarter by five uh, smoky slate that has been ran through the uh, brick embossing folder. Then we have our, and I want this little guy is going to go here, so I need to kind of put that there. This little dude, I want him to go right up against that. Then I'm going to stick my speech bubble on a dimensional. Just like that. And then I have these little resin hearts. And I'm going to use the white ones. And just scatter them at the the top if I can get it off my thumb. Just like that. Now I have two great cards to send to friends. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you'll participate in my challenge on Facebook. Thank you so much. Have a great day.